In recent weeks, the world has been turned upside down by the release of ChatGPT, the new text generation system that is the next big step towards a future in which generative AI takes over our lives. I'm Tommy Thompson, this is AI in Games Plus, and all of this struck me as a perfect time to return to my quest to have AI do my job for me. Given I've made several videos of late all about the Last of Us franchise, I thought, f*** it, let's give this a crack and ask ChatGPT to write a YouTube video for me all about the AI of The Last of Us Part 2. So with that, here's my new video on the AI of The Last of Us Part 2, as written by ChatGPT. Hello and welcome to this episode of AI and Games. Today we'll be exploring the artificial intelligence behind one of the most critically acclaimed games of the last decade, The Last of Us Part 2. The AI in The Last of Us game uses a combination of scripted events and behaviour-based AI systems. The enemies and allies in the game have different sets of behaviours and decision-making rules that determine how they react to the player and the environment. For example, the infected enemies have different behaviour patterns depending on the type of infected they are, and the human allies have different tactics they use to fight alongside the player. Additionally, the AI system takes into account various factors such as the player's visibility and weapons to make decisions on how to react. In The Last of Us Part 2, AI has been improved in several ways. More advanced enemy AI. The enemies in the game have more advanced AI, allowing them to work together, track the player, and respond to changing situations in a more dynamic and realistic way. Enhanced character AI. The non-player characters in the game have improved AI, resulting in more realistic and nuanced interactions and behaviours. Improved environmental AI. The game's environment has more advanced AI, resulting in more believable and dynamic world building, including better representation of weather patterns and wildlife behaviour. Improved companion AI. The game's AI companions have been improved, offering a more engaging and cooperative gameplay experience. The improved AI in The Last of Us Part 2 made enemies more dynamic and responsive, providing a greater challenge to players and enhancing the realism of the game's survival gameplay. The AI also made allies more intelligent, making the game's cooperative and stealth elements more engaging. The AI in The Last of Us Part 2 was designed to create a more challenging and immersive gaming experience. The enemies in the game were programmed to exhibit more realistic behaviours, such as flanking, coordinating attacks, and adapting to the player's tactics. This made the combat more intense and added an extra layer of tension to the game. The improved AI also made it easier for allies to assist the player in combat and navigate the environment, contributing to the game's cooperative and stealth elements. The overall result was a more engaging and dynamic gameplay experience. There were numerous challenges faced when improving the AI of The Last of Us. Natural Language Processing the challenge in this area was to create realistic and emotionally charged dialogue for the characters in the game. This required creating a system that could generate dialogue based on the situation, character emotions, and player actions in real time. Motion Capture and Animation The aim was to capture the subtle movements and facial expressions of characters to create lifelike and engaging performances. This involved using motion capture technology and advanced animation techniques to create realistic and emotionally impactful character animations. Environment and Character Design the challenge was to build a detailed and believable post-apocalyptic world while also creating characters with unique and memorable personalities. This required a lot of creative and technical work to create believable and immersive environments as well as unique and memorable characters. Balancing player choice and agency with narrative structure. The challenge was to allow players to make choices that impact the story while still maintaining a cohesive and impactful narrative. This required careful planning and implementation of the branching narrative system to ensure that player choices had meaningful consequences while still preserving the overall narrative structure of the game. AI Opponent Behaviour The challenge was to design AI enemies that are challenging and adaptive without feeling cheap or unfair to the player. This required developing a sophisticated AI system that could dynamically adjust enemy behaviour based on the player's actions and decisions in real time. Performance Optimization the challenge was to ensure that the AI systems perform well on a variety of hardware setups and do not negatively impact gameplay. This required a lot of optimization work to ensure that the AI systems were efficient and ran smoothly, even on lower-end hardware. In conclusion, the AI in The Last of Us Part 2 represents a significant leap forward in the field of game AI. 
Its advanced technology and implementation result in a more immersive and impactful gaming experience. Thank you for watching and join us next time as we continue to explore the intersection of AI and games. It's interesting to see what was written in the script versus previous attempts to do this, so I figured I'd spend some time deconstructing what it wrote and once again discuss the strengths and weaknesses of the technology as it currently stands. If you're not familiar, this isn't the first time I've tried to get an AI to do my job for me. In episode 69 of AI and Games, <laughs> nice. I detailed my experiences of training a version of GPT-2 against a set of my episode scripts, and the resulting episode it generated about the AI of Aliens Colonial Marines is… it's pretty bad. ChatGPT is designed as the next step in this text generation AI, and much has been said of its ability to write full-blown essays on specific topics that could then be used to plagiarise school or university assignments. So I figured why not get it to write an analysis of this game? And the end result was, once again, quite poor. Unlike my last attempt, it didn't wasulate as it invented new words, and for the most part, it was quite legible. But ultimately, the end result is essentially the equivalent of a bad student essay. Imagine a college essay where the student tried to trick me into thinking they understand game AI by reading a Wikipedia article or two. That's pretty much what this is. Only it's estimated that it costs around $3 million a month to run it. You'll notice that for the most part, what it said in the script was correct in the sense that these are topics that could impact the AI of a given game, and it describes them accurately. But it's also painfully abstract and lacking in depth and substance that it is fundamentally useless. Of course enemy characters are going to respond to the player. Of course they have flanking and group tactics. You could make some small adjustments to that script and it would be generic enough to represent pretty much any other combat-based AAA video game. Which I'm not sure if that's a bigger condemnation of ChatGPT or the AAA industry itself. Meanwhile, it mentions stuff about natural language processing and environmental AI that is straight up wrong and not reflective of The Last of Us whatsoever. Now, ChatGPT developers OpenAI have acknowledged that, given the training data, it has limited knowledge of the world after 2021. And this leads to some of the reasons why I probably won't get replaced by an AI anytime soon. First of all, a lot of this information I explore for the purposes of making videos is often in presentations. PowerPoint slides, PDF decks, videos. These aren't sources that are condensed into a useful and palatable form for ChatGPT to read, but there are still many that are. Research papers, blog posts, magazine articles, news stories on websites. And this led me to actually spend some time with ChatGPT trying to discover, does ChatGPT actually know anything about AI for games? And the answer is evident in the script you just listened to, in that while it can exhibit some basic high-level information about the subject matter, it doesn't know anything about specific games in depth. Critically, the corpus of information it's trained on doesn't include detailed explanations of AI for video games. This is really my way of saying that ChatGPT has clearly never read any of my f***ing blog posts. And to test this, I sat and asked it about the AI of Doom 2016, about the Doom of 1993, how the Xenomorph works in Alien Isolation, and how Townscaper builds towns, and every time it either wrote very little, something painfully generic, or something that was just plain wrong. And while I am glad, because it means for now I don't have to worry about AI stealing my job, I'm also slightly annoyed I wasn't invited to the party. Read my posts, you stuck-up AI f Ultimately, the reasons why ChatGPT fails to create an AI in game script in this instance is down to three key elements. First, there are no sources in its corpus that explain the AI of games in detail to a point it could write something that sounds close to correct. Secondly, it relies on very vague abstract information about the AI of games that is quite often correct, but is so generic that if you asked it to describe the AI of most AAA games, it could just give you the same answer, and it would still be correct 70% of the time, every time. Lastly, unlike my last AI-generated script, this is relying entirely on the existing corpus of knowledge it has accumulated, and none of the stuff that I could provide it, and this means it can't sound like me. I haven't mentioned this until now, but you'll have noticed it didn't write the script in my voice. The last script I made did that because it was retrained on my episode scripts, but it didn't have a large enough corpus to then truly say anything intelligent. And of course, don't forget that ChatGPT, at the end of the day, is simply a parrot of the internet. It's regurgitating statements, it's read from the training set. It doesn't understand anything it writes, because fundamentally it's not designed to do that. For now, I have used the freely available version of ChatGPT, but I am researching setting up my own version to train against my episode scripts and costing up how much that might set me back. I figured I'd hold off making that video until my big fat YouTube revenue check comes in. <laughs>
Thanks for watching this video here on AI and Games Plus. It's clear that the systems behind ChatGPT still have a little way to go before they're going to challenge me and take my job away. Wow, can't believe I'm actually grateful that they can't steal my YouTube content creation gig. Oh, that's a weird first. You can expect more videos all about AI-generated nonsense in the future here on AI and Games Plus. In the meantime, you can support all of this stuff via Patreon and YouTube memberships as shown on screen and in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.